you said there's really good trans rights groups mm. and you know the reason why you don't speak about trans rights is because you think it's not your place to but it's I not my so lived experience yeah. you okay. know i don't feel that i should do that really some people would say you should be an ally I am an ally. In my, in my mind, I really am. I want to be. I have trans friends and I speak to trans people. And yes, I'm not Jewish and I stood up for Jewish people in the anti-Semitic row. But I also don't want to get it wrong. And I think what I know about, like the back of my hand, in my sleep with my eyes shut, is women's rights. And that's what I've tried to speak about. Yeah, of course I'm an ally, but I don't feel that I should be speaking about things that other people do speak about necessarily. I'm talking about women's rights. Do you ever wish you'd never start on this debate? Um, sometimes, but I'm the kind of person who can't really keep my mouth shut, so <laughs> that's why I'm in Parliament. And I think I just saw all this stuff and hatred towards other women who were speaking about it, and I didn't really open my mouth. I liked a man's tweet, and since I liked a man's tweet, more has been written about my opinion than I had any idea about. Um, I've very rarely spoken in my own voice about it, very rarely. Um, I'm starting to now, but for a whole year and a bit, the argument about me being a transphobe was framed by a man who tweeted and that I liked it. So there were reams written about what a transphobe I was, what I thought, what I said. I hadn't said any, or thought any of those things, but that is misogyny because I hadn't opened my own female mouth on it, but I had liked a man's tweet and all kinds of people were telling the world what I thought and what I believed. I hadn't said a thing. So I think I've been forced into it, really, to kind of defend and explain my view.